Man struck down by coronavirus says it is ten times stronger than the flu and it hit him like hammer. Clay Bentley spent 12 days in hospital with crippling symptoms which made it impossible for him to move or catch his breath at times. At one stage, doctors told the 59-year-old, from the U.S. city of Rome, Georgia, they likely couldn't do anything else for him to make him better or ease his pain. However, Mr. Bentley's condition improved and he is now quarantined in his bedroom at his home to prevent the spread of potentially deadly COVID-19. Mr. Bentley told CBS News. They say, you know, we put these antibiotics through your system, and they said, you're in worse shape today than you were when you came into the hospital. It's like 10 times stronger than the flu. When it hits, it hits you like hammer. Doctors who were treating him were preparing to put him on ventilator until his condition began to improve. Mr. Bentley credits his faith for helping him to pull through. He described the moment he was finally able to catch his breath and the relief that he felt. He added, couldn't breathe at all, and then all of a sudden, felt the Lord mean, his presence was there, and felt him blow air in my lungs. Coronavirus patients have described the agonizing symptoms as crippling, with one woman even saying it felt like the devil was inside me. The symptoms include high fever, dry cough and shortness of breath. In the UK, 21, year, old woman with no apparent underlying health conditions has died after contracting coronavirus, her family has said urging the public to do your bit. Chloe Middleton, from Buckinghamshire, is thought to have been the youngest Briton killed in the pandemic. An 18, year, old man who died in hospital in Coventry at the weekend having tested positive for COVID-19 was being treated for significant underlying health issues. Ms. Middleton's family urged the public to heed safety advice and take this seriously. Her mother, Diane Middleton, wrote, To all the people out there that thinks it's just virus, please think again. Speaking from personal experience, this so-called virus has taken the life of my 21-year-old daughter. In an appeal to take preventative action, Ms. Middleton's aunt Emily Mystery described how her niece had no underlying health issues. Ms. Mystery wrote, My loved ones are going through the most unimaginable pain. We are shattered beyond belief. The reality of this virus is only just unfolding before our very eyes. Please, please adhere to government guidelines. Do your bit. Protect yourselves and protect others. The virus ISNT spreading, people are spreading the virus. Life as we know it has changed dramatically but unless we all act now to protect ourselves and others, the longer this turmoil and anguish will go on.